What's up team? Hope you're all well in the lockdown. Thank God they've announced the uh, roadmap. Roadmap to freedom! But, uh, <laughs> look, hopefully in the next few weeks we'll all be out there and start fishing again. So just to follow up on the last video on uh, me choosing a 4000 size reel. I wanted a reel that I can use for the next season, mainly for bonnies and sambos. Um, off the rocks and it was an option between the Stratic FL, the Vanford, um, the Certate, they were Certate and the Shimano Twin Power. Now if money wasn't a thing, money ain't a thing, um, I would have went with the Certate. Uh, hands down it, it wins in all categories um, based on the reviews, right? So based on the quality of the, uh, of the gear um, as well as the features. But I don't base it purely on that. Um, I have to take into consideration uh, the money aspect and the fact that I thrash my gear. So I went off and got Stratic FL. <laughs> so the reviews all, all rated it for its price. A um, couple of reasons for me, I guess, just um, not just the ratings from the reviews, but also I had a Stratic FK, which I loved, but it wasn't sealed well and uh, and you've seen how I fish and the boys fish and it absolutely got smashed. The other thing is the way we fish, I don't want to have a gear that's $700 and always thinking about it, you know. I put it on the floor, it gets scratched, it gets, you know, it gets um, a whole lot of salt water in there. Um, I don't want to always worry about it. So I would be less worried because this thing here is 280 bucks as opposed to a Certate that's about $700 or 680. So that was my decision. I put a power knob on it. I'll uh, I'll show you guys. I'll have another video on it. It's a Gamexis power knob, and I've put a uh, a 20 pound braid eight strand line on it. So this will be paired. I've got a new rod, the Mikuro Shimano Mikuro. <laughs> I've gone back to basics, boys and and girls. It's the uh, 10 foot six. Four to seven kilos. I needed something that was longer. Um, I was re relatively light and relatively cheap. It was only a hundred bucks. Normally, one hundred and forty bucks. Got it from Anaconda for a hundred. So all up, it, I spent what's this? Two hundred eighty bucks on the reel. Thirty dollars on the power knob. Oh, twenty-two dollars. Sorry, on the power knob. And I bought eBay braid for about 50 bucks so what's that mm, 100 about 400 about 450 bucks right so i spent 450 bucks for my 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 basic rock fishing gear uh, i could have spent about 1200 or 1300 on what i was thinking which is a certate and a, a nice expensive rod but i think this will do i'm in mid-range and I'm pretty sure it'll handle most fish I target, but also last a few seasons also. I'm just going to quickly weigh it so you guys see how, how heavy they are and I'll pair it up and show you guys how it feels. There you go, exactly 300 grams. Okay, let's weigh the, the rods, uh, the rod. Rods. There's only one rod. What's uh, away? Uh, 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 yeah. Okay, I don't know if you can see that on screen. It's about 275 grams. So all up, that's about what's that? 300, 200, 575 grams. I've got my oldest Isa on the on the behind the camera. Again. Again. Right, look at this. Oh, I wasn't showing the biceps, so I was showing the rod. That's a 10 foot 6 rod. 4,000 size reel. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Slightly on the heavy side. But you know what they say about heavy rods. 
That's it. Yeah. That's the gear right there. Nice and long. Stay long. He's the cameraman. Mm. <coughs> there you go, guys. This will be my uh, weapon of choice. The upcoming bonnie season. Maybe I can get a tuna on this thing too. Yes, Abu tuna. Alright, that's it.